Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Thank you guys so much for being here and for clicking on the video. Before we get going today, I want to give a huge shout out to Dan Cosman, who sent us some amazing gear, as he has been prone to do throughout this playthrough, and I very much appreciate it. Let's start here with the Ring 7 Stamina 8 Strength. Increases attack power by 20. So this is this is good. We almost got an amazing ring out of Uldaman, uh, which we ran the other day. But yeah, this is a really, really good alternative to that. So that's awesome. Here we have some plate legs with 22 strength and 9 defense rating. Also about twice the armor of our current legs. So we're going to put those on. Uh, we got some bracers here. Again, we're going from a piece of mail with 96 armor to a piece of plate with 223 armor. 10 strength, 5 agility, 6 stam, and then 12 more strength enchanted onto it. Pretty amazing, actually. And then last but not least, uh, we have Kang the Decapitator. Another amazing weapon that I have never seen before. Uh, it has Crusader on it, it has a chance on hit to wound the target, causing them to bleed for 560 over 30 seconds. We're going to equip this thing today, and we're going to work on getting our two-handed axe level skilled up a little bit. We're going to pop these onto our bar so we can swap to the sword and shield if we need to. So let's do something like that. There we go. All right, again... Thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I love seeing weapons, especially that I have never heard of before. It's pretty great. Today we're starting off in Southern Stranglethorn. We have a, quite a few things down here that we can work on, including making our way back up to do Zanzel's Mixture, which we started the other day. Uh, but for now, I want to head over here and uh, turn in this quest here, the Blood Sail Buccaneers. Let's go this way. I thought we would get a kill quest for these guys, but we haven't yet. Now, our two-handed axe skill right now is about 80-something out of 220, so chances are we're going to have to be swapping out of this. Uh, to finish these guys off for a little while, we'll have to do a little bit of weapon swapping, but we'll see how it goes. Giving up the shield is kind of big. We can't interrupt those spells, but it'll be worth it to play around with this for a little while. And actually, I mean, we hit him enough to take him out without having to switch weapons, so that's pretty good. It's a nice net, man, but if you're not going to run away, I don't really see the point of throwing out a net. It always confuses me when enemies do that. They'll, they'll throw a net on you, and then they'll just stand there and let you keep hitting them. Ah, uh, this guy is... Oh, there we go. We got him. Got him in a really weird place that's hard to loot. Yeah, we, we might not be looting him there. Ah, uh, can we get up to him? Not that way. Maybe if we come over here... No, there's just really no good way up there. We might have to uh, give up on him. Alright, so what are we working towards here? We have a turn-in in the middle of this camp. It looks like a crate or maybe a map. It's a blood cell correspondent, so some kind of letter. The question is, if I charge this mage here, am I going to pull the rest of these guys? It doesn't seem like it. Can I back her up a bit? Not really. Thank you. 
Yeah, it might be tedious for a little bit. Sorry for all the missing and whatnot, but I think it'll level up pretty quickly. We're already at 140. Um, so why is it saying that I can't do this? A more powerful spell is already active. What in the hell does that mean? That was really weird. I've never seen that before. I'm glad she ran this way. I mean, she could have ran anyway, and she ran the way that didn't pull the entire area, so I appreciate that. She's gonna die in the exact spot this guy died. Oh, man. Hey, at least we were able to loot her. I'm gonna eat back to full health here before we take on anything else. I've been contemplating like pure DPS classes recently and just kind of thinking about future options uh, for a horde character, I think. I don't really know how much more effort I'm going to put into the priest. I've kind of decided that I'm probably not going to heal in Wrath. I don't really want to heal. Um, what I would like to do is I'd like to tank and if we're not tanking then I'd like to DPS. But yeah, after a lot of thought, I, I think that maybe the part of my life where I prime, I'm mainly played healers is probably over. A lot of my decision to play healers like back in the day was that I just I didn't feel like I knew enough about the game. And I didn't feel like I was good enough at the game to really do like a DPS role or a tank role. Later on, I started to experiment more with tanking and some DPS, but... I feel like now I'm at a good point, and with you guys always giving me great feedback, I feel like going with a DPS class could be a really good change of pace for me. I, I spent a good 10 years raiding just kind of hanging in the back and throwing heals, and that's fine and everything, but I, I feel like there's a whole side of the game that I've never really gotten to experience when it comes to raiding, and that's uh, DPSing and tanking, so... Oh, this is going to be fun. Let's go with the sword and board here. Uh, just to finish these guys up. Uh, we have Pretty Boy Duncan here, who we don't specifically need, but he does have a name, so maybe we need him for a different quest. He didn't drop an item. Let's come over here and click on the correspondence. On top of the barrel, you discover a map with some hastily written text on it, along with some coins. The map shows Booty Bay with a red X drawn precisely at the spot at which you are standing. The scribbled text reads, Your men are to secure a camp at this location and keep quiet. Wait for the signal from the southern command post before attacking. If anyone approaches you, kill them. Sounds pretty bad. So we just heard about a different camp of these guys. So maybe now we go turn this in and then we get the kill quest that I was thinking of. Yeah, let's run back inside the booty bay here and get this turned in really quick. I do need to make my way back to Thunder Bluff at some point, but you know, being on a different continent doesn't really help, but we do want to get the Platinum Disc turned in at some point. Luckily it's orange, so we have a while before we really need to worry about losing the experience. Well that was not, uh, not where I intended to go, but it's fine. We'll come over to one of the ramps over here and uh, get out of the water a little bit closer to the quest. Sure, I remember you, warrior. Back from scouting, I see. So the Bloodsail Buccaneers are planning some sort of attack on Booty Bay. Why the nerve of those scoundrels? Booty Bay will always be run by the Blackwater Raiders. This is bigger than I thought. Report what you have learned to Fleetmaster Seahorn at once. The old sea dog is around town somewhere. Uh, he is the guy, the Tauren guy up here on the platform, isn't he? Pretty sure that's who it is. Yeah, I think I can see it from here. 
Yeah, so while thinking about DPS classes, the classes that I, I'm thinking mostly about is either Warlock or Hunter. That's kind of what I have been been bouncing between. And, you know, since Diablo 2 is not going to be a thing on the channel, uh, I, I have some time. Yeah, and since Wrath is not going to be coming out till like, October or November, I definitely have some time. What's on your mind? Uh, what is this about? I think this is just to get items from the from the pirates. Uh yeah, up to snuff. Okay. Yeah, we should be pairing that up with a kill quest, which we should be getting from this guy. Bloodsail Buccaneers attacking Booty Bay, they might as well throw themselves off the Overlook Cliffs. Nonetheless, by bringing me this information, you have done my fleet of swashbucklers a great service. The Blackwater Raiders, thank you. Kras speaks highly of your dedication to the Blackwater Raiders. I am going to trust you with the mission of extreme importance to the fleet. Infiltrate the so-called Southern Command Post. The Bloodsail Buccaneers have established on the Wild Shore. Raid the encampment. Bring me their charts along with their written orders. We shall see exactly what those scum are up to. Okay, well that's not a kill quest. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? What's up? Uh, this is the Dream Dust quest from Swamp of Sorrows we're not gonna do, so maybe there isn't a kill quest? I don't know, I remember one. Oh. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> let's see. Uh, maybe we need to look at this quest here. Goblin Sponsorship. It's at the end of the dock, and it's one of those gray-green quests that it doesn't pop the exclamation point above the quest giver's head anymore. Uh, I want you to retrieve his eye from the Blood Cell Buccaneers. Okay, there's another quest... Is it above us? It's gotta be above us. Yeah. I'd love it if Questy did like the little arrows that Retail does where it'll tell you if something is above you or below you. That would be incredibly helpful. Let's, let's go back this way. Also being able to mount up here would be really good too. I kind of understand why they don't want people to mount up here, but it would actually be really useful. All right, it's got to be one of these buildings. Uh, or not. Oh, here we go. Greetings. Uh, let's see. I am but useless without my special enchanted eye. Bad enough to have lost my eyes in battle in the first place. But s by some stroke of luck, we docked in Menethil and a traveling wizard enchanted a special glass eye that let me see again. Last night I ended up getting jumped by some blood cell buccaneers on my way out. Took my eye, they did. Seems those blocks have found their way to Booty Bay. Go with honor, friend. Okay, maybe something else that we'll be able to do while hunting uh, blood cell pirates. Yeah, I know we started off with a lot of action and then we uh, kind of fell back here and we've been running around a lot. We'll get this last quest and we should be able to head out. I think we're going to go over to the east here. Ah, uh, here he is, right here. Time is money, friend. Have a good one. Oh, our quest log is full. That's that's great. Let's see what we can do about that. Is there going to be anything we can do about that? <laughs> Doesn't really look like it. We can do we can drop this for now. Be good. And we have just a bit more running to do. I, I want to do this to see if it does turn into a kill quest for these guys. I, I'd hate to run out there, do the quest that we have, later to find out that we could have paired this one up too, so. And of course, it's going all the way back on top of the inn. 
Makes sense. Oh, other things. We also have some potions now. Um, so Elixir of Giants increases your strength by 25 for one hour. Also thanks to Dan. Uh, and Elixir of Superior Defense. Armor by 450. And then we have some Rage Potions. And I'm not sure how these work. I'll have to try one out and uh, see what happens. Okay, let's see. Town. The venture company Shredders out in Lake Nasfertiti have been equipped with a new model fuel regulator. I was thinking that Pazik would be able to take advantage of it if he could get some details. Unfortunately, Kazel the foreman out there appears to be a little more clever than I gave him credit for. You seem like you might have more luck finding the blueprints, though. I know he keeps them in his house, but they're almost certainly under lock and key. Okay, so nothing to do with the pirates. Nothing at all to do with the pirates. Okay, let's head out, shall we? Is there an easier way to get over here? I don't think so. I think we just have to go out and around. Yeah, that's probably our best bet. We're going to be looking for specific items as we go down the coast here, so yeah, we'll start fighting these guys up here. Uh, I don't know what the drop rate is going to be on the snuff or the eye, but we can uh, we can assume it's not going to be 100%, right? That's probably a safe assumption. Well, I do want to be leveling up the axe, though. One fifty six out of two twenty. Yeah, we're gonna get there slowly but surely. We'll get there. Spamming rend will help. There's the uh, impotent net, the net without a purpose. Hey, we landed the execute. And we got one out of 15 snuff. Pretty soon here, we're going to start hitting with this thing. And with top end damage, like 205, we're probably going to be hitting pretty hard. Mm. 
do I really want to deal with these guys with pets? If I do that, I'm gonna go in on the pet first, and I'm gonna I'm gonna kill the pet first. And that way we can just focus on the mage. We'll kill the pet with the one-hander. This guy's actually hitting us a little bit hard here. I'm gonna see if we can get an interrupt on him. Lock him out of his spell tree for a minute. Yeah, maybe some of these mages we'll just have to tackle uh, with the sword and shield for now. I don't really want to let them pummel us with spells. We can take the physical guys, they can't really do a lot of damage to us, but those spells kind of just eat right through the armor that we have. Uh, message in a bottle, we can go pick that up, potentially, assuming it's a pickup off the ground. However, I'm seeing it in a couple of different spots when I look at the minimap. Let's come over here and take a little look around. Hey, is that it right there? Yes, it is. Perfect. The note reads, in fairly good handwriting, To any that can aid me, please, my need for help is dire. A great sky main holds me captive on an island in the South Seas. The stars at night are foreign to me and obscured by the jungle trees, but on the clearest day I see wild shore to the northwest and what seem to be large sailing ships to the southwest. I beg of you, my would-be savior, please help me. <laughs> we would totally help you, my man. Uh, but we have a full quest log. Hmm. Hmm. And it's funny because we're really only doing quests in Stranglethorn. I mean, I don't have a lot of quests anywhere else. Maybe I just drop this for now. Let's do that. Okay. I've never I've never done this, I don't believe. I would like to. So Yeah, I'd like to. Let's take care of the stuff we have going on here first, and then we'll think about swimming across the way. And seeing just who it is that needs our help. I, I have no idea who it really is. Alright, we got the interrupt. Let's switch back to the axe. Uh, yeah, not being able to get the interrupts, man. I just, I love my shield, but this axe is too good not to use, at least for a while. But I, I am going to be missing the shield. Once we get it skilled up, it's possible that we'll be able to hit people so hard that they won't have time to cast. That's uh, a definite possibility. Got a Tauren Druid up here, level 43, tearing through these guys. Yeah, I want to get up here to the camp, but if, if he clicks this item, I don't think it's going to stay here for us. I think it's going to have to be picked up somewhere else. Uh, and in fact, I'm not seeing an item here right now. So, we're going to have to come back for it. Oh, these mages, man, these are super annoying to deal with.
it seems like the only thing that have spawned out here are the warlocks, and I, I really... Oh, see, we do have a kill quest. I, I just am not paying attention. So the charts and the orders, part of that quest is also to kill the swashbucklers. Okay. And yeah, so we don't really need to worry about the mages. If we can avoid them, we're going to do that. Let's pull some swashbucklers here. But let's pull them all the way back here so that when they do run, uh, they aren't right by the camp. Oh good, he disarmed us. It's perfect. Well, Execute went off, and then he disarmed us. Yeah, these are not really the right guys to be trying to skill up a weapon on, not with them disarming us so often. Okay, now we're hitting semi-consistently for decent damage. That's good. Uh, what's happening over here? Well, we've got the druid in there just kind of wreaking havoc. Might be an okay time to kind of come in here and poke around. Uh, we've got a tailoring supply guy here. Doesn't really have anything special. Uh, we could take this guy out. Oh, no, okay, yeah, I thought that was, for some reason I thought that was a respawn, it wasn't, it was one of the guys that uh, the druid had dropped. Yeah, I don't want to take this from him because he was clearly fighting to get to it. Um, yeah, so we're just going to have to wait, we're kind of getting screwed out of this quest because we're running right behind this guy. Uh, which is pretty bad, <laughs> it feels pretty bad because it means we're going to have to clear the camp again. Uh, but he's he's probably done now, so now we can kind of, we'll come back down to the southern camp here, or the eastern camp even. And see if the item has respawned over here yet. But yeah, I, I didn't feel okay just kind of grabbing that after he had cleared the camp. That would have been pretty rude. Pretty rude. Let's go grab the swashbuckler. We still need so much snuff, and we still need to find the guy's missing eyeball. That, uh, it could take a while. It'll take considerably less time once we're actually, like... Up, up to skill, like in the 200s at least. We're getting there. Oh boy, how do I want to deal with this? This could be bad either way. We're going to have to go sword and board for this one. I'm going to do some retaliation here because getting disarmed is going to be incredibly annoying in this fight. So at least we'll be putting out damage from retaliation even if we don't have our weapon. Alright, that wasn't so bad.
Got a respawn here, like basically immediate respawn. So yeah, really great. Super. Okay, yeah, still no item. This is uh, kind of painful. I don't really know how long it, we can expect to wait for this thing to come back. But yeah, there's only two places, so this stuff has to spawn like here and at the other camp. There's really nowhere else for us to get the items. Uh, so now it's a matter of waiting. In the meantime, we can try to get the snuff that we need. And possibly dude's eyeball. Not sure what's happening here with this guy. Looks like maybe he's resetting. He's left his imp. Just all alone out here by himself. Oh, now we're in combat with him. Of course, of course. He must have sensed his imp dying from like yards and yards away. Yeah, I really don't like this because now we have another person kind of running in right where we need to be going to get our items. So now I'm going to have to camp these camps. Guys, we're going to have to camp the camp. He's going to run right in there and grab it, isn't he? Oh god, stay away from my camp, please. Okay, uh, I don't see it. Perfect. Let's go check the other place. Because, yeah, having to compete for these two items is kind of a pain, actually. It is kind of a pain. This one is back, so we should be able to get this one. Let's get in here and grab it before respawns pop up. So that is the blood cell orders. Now we just need the chart. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh wait, I mean it shows it right here. That's something, right? But we can't click on it at all. That's really weird. I wonder what that's about. Um, hmm. Well, I mean all we can really do is keep checking it. Kind of makes it a bit of a pain in the ass.
Yeah, especially with other players around. I don't really know uh, how we're going to obtain this unless we get really lucky. I wonder if it has a chance to drop either item at either camp. So this is probably the one we already have right here. This must be the orders. It says it's the charts. And that the other one is also the charts. Okay, great. So... Either one can spawn in either place. That's something. Okay, well, let's go back and check this one now and see if it has what we need. Uh, and there just aren't a lot of enemies up right now either. We still need a bunch of snuff. So, nine snuff. And uh, no enemies here to fight right now. Yep, nothing here. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't know why I happened to see that out of the corner of my eye, but I am really grateful that I did, because I was not going to be looking over here. And yet, there it was. Okay, that's better. Um, hmm. I want to try to finish up the snuff, and then I want to head over here to do message in a bottle. Uh, but that's going to depend on if we can actually get respawns to pop up. I don't want to invoke it, but we've had a serious lack of respawns. Let's get in here on the Warlock. Oh, okay, this is going to be fun. Okay, why are you not dead? Okay, perfect. Well, there we go. That's the last of the swashbucklers we need. Now we just need any of them because any of these guys can drop the item we need. Any of them can drop the snuff. Well, I see a warlock here, but I don't see a pet. Oh well, lucky us, I guess. The only place where there's a bunch of these guys seems to be down here at the southernmost camp. Other than that, they're kind of few and far between in reality. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, they're getting pretty stingy with their drop rates. And uh, we still need the eye, which seems like it must be like a 1% chance to drop. So the rage potions, do they just give me rage? Like 30 to 60? Yeah, they're just an instant hit of rage. Okay. That's pretty cool. Just an instant big hit of rage. Probably like wasted there, but still good to know how it works. combat with something that's a little bit weird is it is it this guy I don't really I don't really want to group it's just for items I don't I don't need a group for that it's not gonna help me to have a group I don't know if we were in a group if the eyeball were to drop if we were if we would both be able to loot it it's possible but I don't really want to count on it it's running All right, cleared out everybody there. You know what we could do? We could go ahead and uh, have a little boost to our strength and a little boost to our defense for a while. That could buff us up a little bit. Not that we really need it uh, with all the amazing gear and weapons that we have, but it could be fun. One second earlier and we could have fought her without the minion. Oh, we have a belt too. I think I meant to equip the belt and we never did. 12 strength, 5 stamina, 5 spirit. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and equip the belt too. Did I forget anything else? No, I think I got everything else. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Great, great, great. So the only really weak item we have is our back piece, which is a weird a weird slot. Not that we don't have any trinkets either, so that's a, that's a real thing, but... I don't know if trinkets matter as much right now.
Well, what we're going to do is we're going to fight these guys until we get all the snuff we need. And uh, at that point, we're going to go out to the island and do the rescue quest. If we don't have the eyeball by then, that's fine. Um, chance that we might be fighting more of these guys at some other point in time. So I'm not, I'm not going to focus the, uh, the eyeball quest if we don't get it naturally. We'll just kind of hold off on it. Hey, there's the eye right there. Hey, all I did was had the, I had to threaten the quest with not doing it, and then it dropped the item we needed. It's too bad it doesn't always work that way. All right, so we need two more snuff, and then we will be done on this beach for the time being. We can head out to the island and see who needs our help. We also have this Cortelio's Riddle out here. I, I don't really know what that's about. Maybe we'll just kind of stumble into it naturally. Uh, yeah, I'm not really too keen on diving into the middle of the camp there with all those warlocks up. Let's try to stay out here. Maybe we'll get the last couple items we need. That was a pretty big crit. Items, though. I mean, the crits are insane. <laughs> the crits with this axe are just literally insane. Okay, 
Now we can go over to the island. Let's pick a likely spot to cross here. Preferably not the longest swim. Let's try to minimize the amount that we have to swim here. We have to head quite a ways back up the coast. This looks like a likely spot to cross. It's been raining here a lot today. I wonder if there's a mod that could tell you what the weather is like in a zone. I wonder if that exists. That would be kind of cool to be able to like look at the map and to know like, oh, it's raining here. I guess that's all it does is rain, right? It either rains or it doesn't rain. Uh, level 41 Stealth Panther, okay. We don't really need you, so I'm going to avoid th these guys when I can, unless we get a quest for them. I don't remember ever doing anything on this island, which is weird because it is kind of a big island. Who do we have? We have a female Torin. Oh, hi. Did not avoid you very uh, swiftly, did I? Just kind of stumbled right into you. 